Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today on my channel. This video is special because I just turned 50. I know, it's hard to believe, but here we are. I'm Eric with Leadership Developed. In this video, I'm going to share with you the things I have learned in my 50 years. So, let's get to it. The first thing I want to talk about is reflection. Having milestone birthdays gives you cause to reflect on the things that you have accomplished in your life, the things that you have learned. It's important not just to have your milestone birthdays to reflect upon this, but any time that you have to find resiliency, you need to reflect upon what you've accomplished, what you've learned, and how can you move forward. Reflection is the first step that you have in building resiliency. It's also your next step in meeting your new goals. So. In the last six months, as I've been dreading this birthday, I've been reflecting upon this time of what I actually have accomplished, what I thought I didn't accomplish, and then found what I learned during that journey when I didn't think I accomplished anything. I invite you to try the same thing too. Break it down to what you accomplished, what you came short on, and what you learned during that journey when you came up short. So now let's get into these lessons that I've learned. The first lesson I want to talk to about is prioritizing your overall health. That's not just your physical health. That could be any of these eight in the wellness wheel, whether it's your mental health, your social health, or even your financial health. Taking time to figure out what needs help and what is already going strong to be able to help you be able to prioritize how to grow next. As I have aged, I have found it more critical to pay more attention to my physical well-being. I no longer have that great high metabolism. As we get older, taking care of our physical and mental health becomes more critical. It becomes more important for us to be able to maintain that resiliency in which we've had when we were younger. But now it takes a great effort to grow into these older ages and be able to bounce back. This action could mean also, you know, finding a gym that has a social aspect to it or hiring that professional to help you improve your mental awareness, your mental strength to be able to find what endurance you need. Check out in the description below of what each of these eight areas of wellness will do for you. The second lesson I want to share with you is never stop learning. Our third core value is growth. If you're not growing, you're dying. That means we're always finding new ways to be better. One, for myself, writing. With the help of Grammarly, I've been able to write much better. With my YouTube videos, I've gotten better because of the looking for help from YouTube creator experts. And also, things that you're interested in, things that I'm interested in, that help me build a broader mindset, help me understand, to empathize with people in different industries and fields when we're working together. And most of all, because you're creating that time to improve yourself, you're giving the best version of yourself to other people who need you the most. The third lesson I'd like to share with you is surround yourself with people that make you better. Everyone says surround yourself with positive people, but you need to be around people who, want, who are interested in your growth as well. People that want to see you succeed. Sometimes they give you tough love. Sometimes they give you empathy. Sometimes they give you sympathy. These people help you grow. And these are the people you should always surround yourself with. They should also be helping you achieve higher goals, helping you set those intermediate goals to be able to reach those heights that you dream of. You cannot do this alone. But with the right people around you, the right support around you, and the right love around you, you will be able to step up to the challenges and be able to take them head on. And finally, just talking about celebrating life. Turning 50 was dreadful for me, but I have learned that I need to celebrate this. It needs to be a positive function. It needs to be something that worth celebrating that I actually got this far. I went through two wars. I grown up, you know, a scrawny little kid. Just be able to come to this point in my life and say, huh, we made it this far. How else can we do that? What else can we do? Because it's not over. We're only halfway there. I'm looking forward to being in my 90s. There you have it. Some of the lessons that I've learned on my way to this point in my life. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you did like this video, hey, do us a favor. 
hit like, or like I like to say is give us a thumbs up. While you're at it, hey, hit subscribe. Help us spread our message to other growing leaders. So you're also able to find out what we're sharing with others so you can stay on top of your game. If you missed last week's video, hey, do us a favor, check it out right over here. We'll talk to you again soon.